Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's a three-time Grammy Award winning singer and songwriter best known for gospel classics like Stand mm -hmm. and We Fall Down. Absolutely. But we get up. Yes. Yes. A trailblazer for inspirational anthems and worship odes to God. He's continuing his strong run with an eighth solo album. Yes, a different God. song. Take a look and listen. There is mercy that has no pain. There is a life for you. There is joy and pleasure. There is God. Yes. yes. Please welcome Pastor Donnie McClurkin. Yes. <laughs> Too much. That's yes. too much. Why is it too much? <laughs> How are you? Thank you so Hello. much for being Thank here. Thank you so much for being here. We're very honored to have you. Yes. Glad to be here. Now, who yeah. is that singer? The, oh, Selena. It's a little birdie back there. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I need to hear that bird more often. That's my song. <laughs> yeah. You know that's my song. Thank Absolutely. You, Thank yes. you. Thank Let's you. talk a little bit about There is God. Yes, yes. What was the inspiration behind this song? Well, you know, um, 21st century. Uh, people see uh, folk falling away from mm -hmm. church activity, church participation. And there's a lot of different thought patterns going around. This was just to bring everybody back to the core, back to the fact that there is God. Yes. Now, I watched a movie years ago called Raising in the Sun. And in Raising in the Sun, uh, the mother's talking with the daughter and she's talking about praying. And the daughter says, oh, mama, there is no God. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to? And the mother walks up and slaps her. Right. Mm -hmm and says, repeat after me, in my mother's house, there is God. Mm, that and is that has stayed with me throughout the years. Mm. And that's when the song really started to germinate and it just came out now. Yes. Wow. That's yeah. beautiful. Well, I'm excited for this album. Oh, so am I for an old fella. <laughs> I, I, I'm excited. But speaking of old fella, which mm. you're not really old, you're very young. You just celebrated your 60th yes. young birthday. Yes. <laughs> 60 years Oh, yeah. on this earth. Thank <laughs> God. Getting it going. Six mm -hmm. decades and going. Now, what is it, if you, when you think back of all your years, is there anything that you haven't done yet that you want to do in gospel music or music just in general? Um, no, not really, because I never expected to be doing what I'm doing now. Mm. I always knew music because of my mother, and, mm -hmm. but I never expected it to grow to this height and to get to this volume. And so it, it still catches me off guard. I still cry. Mm. when I see the different levels of success. I still cry at the memory of some things that I've been able to accomplish, yes. people that I've been able to, to meet, know, and uh, the masses. Uh, like next month we'll be in Nigeria, mm -hmm. 780,000 people wow. at a concert. I cry every year mm -hmm. that oh I stand goodness. up there. Because it's just um, nothing that I ever expected, but somehow without being able to explain, I always knew. Yes. yes, you know that's good. And, and speaking of concerts, you're putting together an all-star concert. Talk I'm, to us about that. I'm not putting together nothing. You not? <laughs> no, um, some friends of mine decided mm -hmm. to throw me a 60th soiree. Oh. And um, you know, because I, I don't really celebrate birthdays with parties and stuff, because mm -hmm. you know I'm so saved, thank God. <laughs> um, and uh, so they decided to throw this together. I just found out the roster about two, three weeks ago. Mm. Oh, that's fun. Because they had to advertise. So I, yes. had to find out. I found out the roster and it blew me away. Wow. Because I don't do parties. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this is going to probably be the most sentimental because my mom and dad are not here for this one. Okay. Who's okay. on the roster? You gonna give us some? Well, you know, they told me to that there's a little, little leprechaun What's of a guy birdie, by the name of Kirk Franklin. <laughs> a little oh, bitty <laughs> Little bitty. Uh, <laughs> Kirk, Kirk yeah. is going to be I'm, I'm seeing it and mm -hmm. Erica Campbell yes. and Kiara Sheard. Oh, and, wow. All stars. And, and, yeah, and, and Cece Winans. Yeah. And uh, J Jason Nelson, Jonathan McReynolds. Oh and, my God, you know, everybody. Yeah. It's gonna be it's a good. sing fest. You yeah. know, with, with, with gospel music and now it's changed, I see you have everybody from all across the years that are gonna be at your 60th soiree. Mm -hmm. But how have you continued to remain relevant or is that even important to you? It's, mm. it's never a thought. Relevancy is never a thought. The gospel is so eternal mm -hmm. that no matter what generation, it's going to reach them. I got kids running up to me. One little guy came up to me, four years old, came and pulled my coat and said, I know who you is. <laughs> <laughs> and so I looked down and said, okay, little guy, who am I? 
you Donnie Kirk Franklin. Oh. I walked away. Oh my <laughs> God, so, so Donnie you know, Kirk Franklin. And, and so the, 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 the relevancy is automatic. Yes. If it's God inspired, if it's mm -hmm. God kissed, it's going to reach every generation. And it has. And see, that, that's just the thing. I've always noticed about your music that you've inspired young people, especially with songs like We Fall Down, yes. you know, which is one of my jams yes. and stand. <laughs> But um, I've, all, I've, I've noticed that about your gift, that mm -hmm. it, just, it just transcends j age and gender. Mm -hmm. um, but speaking of this younger generation, you know, let's talk about Kanye West. Oh. And this, this ministry, <laughs> my God today. Yeah. This ministry. <laughs> I felt something. Uh, <laughs> let's talk, Donnie, yeah. about Kanye's yeah. endeavors. What are your thoughts? My first? thoughts? That's My good. thoughts are simple. Um, isn't this what the gospel is about? Yes. Mm -hmm. The gospel is not a country club. Mm -hmm. The gospel is not a fraternity. Mm -hmm. The gospel is not a specific s small little group of people that you got to be a part of us. You got to sign on the dotted line. It is about God's ability to love us no matter who we are, use us, drag us out of whatever pit we're in, mm -hmm. and wash us up and make it look like the accident never happened. Mm -hmm. When you see somebody like Kanye, doing something so dramatically op opposite of what he was doing mm -hmm. and so committed to it. You've got to know that that's God. And I never understood why religion always kills things in its infancy. Mm. It has to start from somewhere. I never understood why religion is so apps, and I won't say the church, I say religion. Okay, religion. Good. Why religion is so uh, against this type of thing that the Bible says is supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what salvation is, where he takes us, salvages us, washes us up, and uses us? Yes. And when you see somebody of this caliber, who just a week and a half ago had a service with over a thousand young people coming and giving their hearts to God, mm -hmm. who can say anything about this? And those that do, my heart really questions what their real angst is, what their real problem is with seeing something this beautiful mm. happen with a young man who God has just put his hand on for this day. My goodness, my goodness. Well, it is true that God can use anyone. And he, he does. Sure can. He's Come using on. us. I know that's right. We've got more with Pastor Donnie McClurk and when we return and BFF Smeek and Trina are going to get in on the conversation. So stay with us. We'll be right back. We're back on Sister Circle Live with the living legend who's sensational yes. at 60, yes. Pastor Donnie McClurk in, and of course Trini Bean and Tamika are joining with us, joining in on the conversation as well. But before we jump into a whole lot more, let's talk about this album, yes. your eighth solo album. Ain't that something? Yes. How is something? it different from the other projects? You know, <laughs> people, people look for songs like Stand, mm -hmm. We Fall Down, mm -hmm. you know, all that stuff. This song, is uh, the Lord gave it to me as coritas. Coritas is a mm -hmm. Spanish word for small little choruses. And it's where, it's a sing-along. And it deals with the central and focus of the whole thing is God. Mm -hmm. Drives everything straight to God. Yeah. There is no question, Christ is Lord. Uh, uh, there is God, the whole nine yards. And all of the songs are songs that people can join in and sing. Yes. And we did uh, There Is God, and the whole entire audience grabbed a hold of it and started singing. There's a song called Pour My Praise. Mm. And I say, you get to Patti LaBelle on. Yeah. And so these songs become more catchy, more familiar, and it's going to be something that uh, people will be able to sing along with. So almost like devotional even. Yeah, mm. yes. in, in, in a very strong way. Yes, yes. that's cool. Yeah. Well, you've been a minister of music for a super long time, but you're also senior pastor at uh, Perfecting Faith Church That's in New York. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So how, how do you balance your life and still manage to have, have self-care for yourself? Mm. That mm. is a question that I'll probably cry off of. Mm. Uh-oh. We have tissue. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to need it. Okay. Uh, makeup! Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is hard. Mm -hmm. That has been the hardest aspect for me. Um, and it throws me into cycles of depression mm -hmm. that I've got to really uh, uh, get a break out of. And I've, uh, I've developed methods and mechanisms to break out of because it gets so bad that you get to the point of saying, God, just, I'm finished. Take me home. I'm done. Mm. Wow, wow. And uh, I don't, uh, this is my first time ever really talking about this. Mm. Uh, just last m month and a half ago, I had a real breakdown where I'm sitting in a car going from uh, Natchez, Mississippi to Jackson, and a spirit of depression hit me so hard, mm. I cried and typed everything out on my iPad and just said, now, Lord, just let's end this. Let's stop. 
can we just finish? Let me come home. Oh, whoa, and, whoa. and I can, because I give everything in music, I give everything in ministry, mm -hmm. I give everything in family. So there's nothing there there's to nothing fill you. you. Have, and I'm, if, if I'm getting to person, have you ever yes. thought about therapy? Or? Oh, no, I, I, sit, I sit with somebody. Yes. Oh, I, I believe that God is the healer. Yes, he is. And he also made psychological science mm -hmm. for us I, to be healed. Absolutely. Yes. And yeah. I sit and I recommend people to sit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because if it weren't for that, um, I would probably be so jacked mm -hmm. that, that I wouldn't be able to function. Mm -hmm. But these are the things that we deal with that we don't speak about. Yes, that's true. So I give true. everything on the stage, I give everything in the pulpit, yes. I give everything in the family. My but when God. it comes my time, mm. uh, I'm, I'm uh, riding on, on the plane by myself, laying in the bed by myself, my God. dealing with life by myself. Oh my and that becomes my problem. But God mm -hmm. yes. gives me the strength and gives yes, more grace. Does. Amen. Oh, my goodness. We're going to continue to lift you up. Yes, yes. we yes. are. Exactly. Literally. Literally. And that's and these prayers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's very important. Important. And, and that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Pastors don't have people that they can go to. Right. Mm. And because we keep everything so private, because mm -hmm. we've got to be the strength for so many. I got 2,000 plus people I've got to be strong for. Right. Mm -hmm. And they're probably watching now. Hey, praise God. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. But um, those are the different aspects that no one sees. Right. Yes. I wrote a song that's about to come out called, Can Anybody Hear Me Cry in the Dark? Mm -hmm. With a pain in my heart, help me, Lord. Anybody hear me cry in my sleep? with a pain that's so deep. Mm. Help me, Lord, help me, Lord. And that, I just wrote that song a week and a half ago. Yeah. Wow. And uh, that's just my that's, testimony. Yes. And yeah. you, ha you have a lot of powerful songs. What yeah. is that one, that song, that go-to song that you go to to just lift you up? Um, right now, there is God. Mm -hmm. Before that, nothing. Wow. You know, I would go to the hymn book. Now mm. you want to get me? Hey, I'll go straight. Ah, no, those else. are my songs. Mm. Yes. yes, those are my jams. Yeah. Are my jams. <laughs> you know? And, and that, that's the thing, you know. Ministry to me has got to be more than just what I do. Yeah, I've got to go outside of me in order to be ministered to. Right, right. Mm. Well, and yeah. you continue to minister through your radio show, the Donnie McClurkin mm -hmm. Show, which I love. I'm a radio girl. It's my yeah. first love. Yes, ma'am. What has that platform given you that ministry and music has not? It's given me five million listeners. How about it? Well, it's given me a syndication around the world, Nigeria, Bahamas. It's given me the oh. opportunity to play music from other people that don't have platforms. Mm -hmm. It's given me the ability to reach into the hearts of everybody for free, because radio is free for the most Let part. Me tell you. And uh, it, it, it's, it's given me an opportunity to stretch past the, the boundaries of a pulpit. Yeah. You know? My goodness, Pastor McClurkin, I mean, just sitting here listening to you, Donnie. Yes, ma'am, thank you. <laughs> yes. I got um, my name back. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Donnie, yes. yeah. as Donnie, yes. you know. I just, I'm, I'm just listening to you talk about um, what you feel in being transparent. And as an artist, I, I connect with you in yeah, this way yeah. because no matter if you are a pastor or average, average ordinary person, mm -hmm. a talk show host, right. singer, song, you know, we, we, you can be in the dark, you can be suffering in silence. And so do you ever think in your, do you ever think or do you ever find comfort in knowing that um, maybe God puts you in this so that you can minister to these five million people on your radio show. And exactly. so you have to have this um, life life to mm -hmm. be able to save yeah. others. Are you ever, ever, do you ever come that, to that revelation? That is, and that is so apropos. The, the Lord told me in, other, in order for others to be saved, somebody's got to be crucified. Mm. And in order to feel what other people are going through, you've got to experience it yourself. Mm. So there's a cavalcade of things that are poured upon my heart and I have to deal with because I'm going to ultimately have to affect somebody else that's going through it. Mm -hmm. And I got to do it going through it and coming out victorious. Yes. Is there anything that you ever wanted to do besides what you're doing now that has absolutely nothing to do with what you're oh, doing? Oh man, if I wasn't doing this, I would be uh, <laughs> an English teacher. Yes! Oh, wow. yes. Wow. I love it. English teacher. I love it. Judge Maybelline, I'd be an English teacher. <laughs> Because my thing was Shakespeare. Yes. I love Shakespeare. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. Yes. Thank Pastor you Donnie thank McClark you so and everybody. Much. We appreciate yes. it. His new album, A Different Song, drops tomorrow and is available on all music streaming platforms. Have fun at your birthday concert. Yes. 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 Yes.